You're here because you have one of these Roku remotes that has these sponsored buttons on it that you don't want. Every time I bump one of those buttons, it takes me right out of the cat video I'm watching on YouTube and sends me somewhere I don't want to be. Those buttons are subsidizing the inexpensive costs of these TVs, and that's great, but it also means that Roku is not going to provide a means to disable them in the Roku software, and you're never going to be able to program them to do what you want. So let's just disable them permanently. It's actually pretty easy. Take one screw out and then fight with it for a bit as you try to pry it apart. You don't have to get the whole thing apart. You just want to get the end that has the offending buttons pried apart. You'll see exactly what I mean in a minute. You pry and you struggle with it. I didn't want to stick anything in there like a screwdriver or a knife blade because it was going to break. Just wiggle and pry and be patient and eventually you get enough room to do what you need to do. See that gap? In there you'll see a very thin piece of plastic that's between the rubber buttons and the circuit board and that's got little blisters on it. And those blisters have conductive material that closes the circuit when you press the buttons. All we need to do is block those buttons from the circuit board. And we're going to do it with a little piece of paper. I could have used tape, but tape would have stuck to everything I didn't want it to stick to and would be hard to reverse. So put this little piece of paper in there, line it up with the buttons, and snap everything closed. Trim off the remaining bits of paper. And you're done. Test them out. They don't work. Problem solved. Thank you for watching.